Hi everyone, it's Amy. If you haven't met me before, I'm running a quiz today. I hope you have fun. Okay, so time for quiz number two. This one has a range of rounds again. Let's get into it. So, first round is all questions about things that you might call bedtime stories. So, like Little Red Riding Hood, Goldilocks and Three Bears, those sort of things. Give it a go. Number one. What did the hungry caterpillar eat on Monday? Was it A, two pears, B, a plum, C, an apple, or D, three strawberries? Okay, on to number two. Which animal did the mouse from the Gruffalo meet first? Was it A, the owl, B, fox, C, snake, or D, Gruffalo? So pick which one you think the mouse met first. Number three. What colour were the Gruffalo's spikes? Was it A, purple, B, green, C, orange, or D, black. Next question. Which dog is this? So this is from Harry McClary's, the, the book series. Which one is this? Is it A, Hercules Morse, as big as a horse? B, Muffin McClay, like a bundle of clay? C. Schnitzel von Crumb with a very low tum. Or D. Bits of Maloney, all skinny and bony. Number five. What did the last piggy make his house out of? Was it A. Straw? B. Twigs, C. Bricks, or D. Sand? So can you remember, was this the house that could withstand the wolf or did it get blown down? Okay, number six. Where was the grandmother when Little Red Riding Hood came to visit? A. In the wardrobe B. Under the bed C. On a walk or D. In the wolf's belly Number 7. What did Jack sell to get the magic beans. This is from Jack and the Beanstalk, where he climbs up and sees a giant. Was it his pig, his cow, his chicken, or his horse? So what did he sell to get the beans, which grew the beanstalk? Okay, number eight. What noise do they make going through the cave where in the book going on a bear hunt? Is it tiptoe? Is it splash splosh? Stumble trip? Or hoo woo? So they're going on a bear hunt and what noise do they make when they go through the cave? Remember they make noises at each point. Next question. Which of the following did not live in the peach in James and the Giant Peach? So which one was not in the peach? Was it spider? Was it B, earthworm? C, an ant? Or D, grasshopper? So three of them did live there. You've got to find which one didn't. Okay, question number 10. 
What did sport did Mrs. Trunchbull do from Matilda? Was it A, swimming, B, tennis, C, golf, or D, athletics? Mrs. Trunchbull is the headmistress, if you can't remember, in Matilda, the really scary one. Okay, that brings round two, to, round one, sorry, to an end. And we are moving on to round two, which is you get a picture of a sequence of emojis and you have to guess the film from it. It is multiple choice, so if you don't know, you can give it a guess. And I've got an example so that you know what you're doing. So this example is Lady and the Tramp. Because there's the two dogs, they shared some spaghetti, they were in love, and it was a nice date, and that's about the story. So that's why that one's Lady and the Tramp. Okay, we'll get going. Number one. Do these emojis represent A, Build-A-Bear, B, Paddington Bear, C, The Care Bears, or D, Grizzly? So they're all films, which one do you think this these emojis represent. Okay, number two. Are these representing A, Jack Frost, B, Frozen, C, Happy Feet, or D, Narnia? Number three, is this film A, Sleepless in Seattle, B, Insomnia, C, Sleeping Beauty, or D, The Princess Diaries? Okay, next question. Is this A, Spider-Man, B, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, C, Eight-Legged Freaks, or D, Ant-Man. Number five. Is this A, Jurassic Park? B, Ratatouille? C, Guardians of the Galaxy? Or D, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Six, is this A, Up, Up and Away, B, Home Alone, C, Bedtime Stories, or D, Up? Number seven, is this A, Hotel for Dogs, B, 101 Dalmatians, C, Isle of Dogs, or D, 101 puppies. Next question. Do these emojis represent A, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, B, a series of unfortunate events, C, Polar Express, or D, the Ticket Man? On to number nine. Is this Captain Jack Sparrow, Titanic, Captain Corelli's Mandolin, or Captain Underpants? Think of what the images may represent, and it's pretty obvious after that, generally. Okay, number 10. Is this A, Finding Nemo, B, Finding Dory, C, Shark's Tale, or D, Jaws?
Okay, and that concludes the emoji round. Round three is just quest multiple choice questions with general knowledge. Remember, if you've struggled with any of the others, feel free to skip back, repeat them, have another look, or pause it to get more time to think. But let's get begin with round three. Number one, what is the collective name for trees that keep their leaves all year round? Is it A, everlasting, B, all-rounder, C, forever leaves, or D, evergreen? Number two, what is the fastest land animal? Is it A, gazelle, B, a cheetah, C, a panther, or D, a lion? Number three, what is the tallest mountain in the world? Is it A, Mount Everest, B, Ben Nevis, C, Kilimanjaro, or D, K2? What is the tallest mountain? Number four. How many brains does an octopus have? Sorry about the typo there, supposed to say Anne. Is it A, three, B, eight, C, nine, or D, six? Whichever one it is, it's a crazy amount, jeez. Number five, who wrote the Harry Potter books? A, Roald Dahl, B, David Williams, C, Jacqueline Wilson, or D, J.K. Rowling. They're all authors, but who wrote Harry Potter? Okay, number six. How many players are in a football team? Is it A, seven, B, nine, C, 11, or D, 12? Number seven, what colour combination makes up the Union flag of Great Britain? Is it A, white, blue and red, B, white and red, white and blue, or green, white and orange? Okay, number eight, what is the smallest country in the world? A, Malta, B, Vatican City, C, Gaza, or D, Wales. Number nine, what is closer to the earth? A, Mercury, B, the sun, C, the moon, or D, Jupiter. Number 10. What type of fish is Nemo? Is he a goldfish, a clownfish, an orange tang or a guppy? Okay, that is the end of round three and we're moving on to our final round, which is round four. You're going to be shown close-ups of everyday household objects or food or range of stuff that you would find in your house. And you've got to guess from the options what you think it is. Number one, what do you think this is an image of? So it's a really zoomed in image of something. Is it A, flying saucers, B, mushrooms, C, pepper seeds, or D, buttons?
Number two. Is this A, a razor, B, a book, C, a hairbrush, or D, a table mat? Some of these are really tricky, so don't worry if you've got no clue. Just give it your best guess and hopefully you'll get it right. But they are quite obscure. Okay, number three. Is this A, French fries, the crisps, or B, pasta, C, Rice Krispies, or D, a hot dog bun? Remember, they're really up close pictures. Okay, number four. Is this A, a pencil, B, cheese, C, a matchstick, or D, an orange? Number five. Is this A, fibre optic lights, B, toothpicks, C, straws, or D, a toothbrush? If you don't know what fibre optic lights are, they're lights where the light travels along a little bit of plastic at the end and it looks like the whole plastic lights up. They're very pretty and twinkly. Okay, number six. Is this A, a chair, B, a hose pipe? C, a paperclip, or D, a washing line? Number seven. Is it A, a tomato, B, a tea towel, C, mould on bread, or D, a jumper? All these images, the perspective is very off, so it really puts you off. But they're all zoomed in, so think, try to think what it could make bigger. Number eight. Is this A, a pen, B, a drill, C, a light bulb, or D, a sink plunger? Number nine, is this A, rye bread, B, licorice, C, Oreo, or D, toothpaste? And last question of the round, number 10, is this A, tinsel, B, a scourer, that, that is something you use to clean the dishes in a kitchen, it's like the metal scrapey thing. C, a scarf, or D, a rug. Okay, that is the end of this quiz. Great work, everyone. Good effort. I'll be back in a second to give you the answers. Okay, so I am back to give you the answers for the quiz. So starting with round one, question one. The hungry caterpillar ate an apple, which was option C on Monday. The mouse in the Gruffalo met B, the fox first. The Gruffalo's spikes were purple, option A. The dog pictured was Schnitzel von Krum with a very low tum, option C. But number five, the last piggy made his house out of bricks so it didn't get blown down when the wolf huffed and puffed. Number six, when Little Red Riding Hood saw her grandmother or went to visit her grandmother, she was in the wolf's belly, which was option D. That couldn't have been too comfortable. Okay, number seven, Jack sold B, his cow, to get some magic beans, which grew a big beanstalk. Number eight. When all the people going on the bear hunt go through the cave, they make 
tiptoe, tiptoe sound, which was option A. The animal that did not live in the peach, in James and the Giant Peach, was C, an ant. So all the others, a spider, an earthworm and a grasshopper, were living in the peach. And Mrs Trunchbull did athletics, D, as her sport, particularly the hammer throw. It was mentioned that she would hammer throw children if they were naughty. Not too pleasant. <laughs> Okay, moving on to round two. So round one should have been out of ten. One point each, so tally up and give yourself a big circle with all your marks. Okay, first question of round two. The images were symbolising B, Paddington Bear. For number two, the emojis were frozen, which was also B. For number three, the emojis were Sleeping Beauty, C. Number four was Spider-Man, A. And number five was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, D. Number six was Up, which was also option D. And number seven was 101 Dalmatians, option B. Not 101 puppies, unfortunately. That would be super cute, though. Number eight was A, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Number nine... D, Captain Underpants, and final question of the round, 10, was B, Finding Dory, because it was a blue fish and the magnifying glass, if you can remember. So again, great work, give yourself big ticks for all the questions you got right, add up your answers, give it out of 10, and then on to round three. So this was the general knowledge round. The collective name for trees that keep their leaves all year round is D, evergreen. Number two, the fastest land animal is B, a cheetah. Gazelles are really fast as well though because they have to run away from cheetahs. Number three, the tallest mountain is A, Mount Everest. Number four, an octopus has nine brains, which was option C. Nine. They must be so clever. Okay, and for five, J.K. Rowling, option D, wrote the Harry Potter books. Number six, there are 11 option C players on a football pitch. Number seven, the Union flag of Great Britain is made up of A, white, blue and red. Number eight, the smallest country in the world is B, the Vatican City. That's where the Pope lives and it's in Italy. Number nine, what is closer to Earth? This answer was C, the moon. And final question of the round, Nemo is B, a clownfish. Again, great job everyone, add all your answers up, give them a big tick, and we'll move on to the final round, which was really tough. So I thought for round three answers, it would be useful to see the pictures so that you could get where the answers came from. So number one, it was these weird bulby things, and those were seed, the pepper seeds in a pepper, right along there. Okay, well done if you got that. Number two was a book. Now, this one was really hard because that does not look like a book, but it's this bit just along there. So, again, really big well done if you got that. And that was option B. Number three was pasta. Really zoomed in pasta. I thought it kind of looked like French fries crisps, but hey-ho, can't get it all right. So, that was option B. Number four was a pencil. So the edge of this pencil, that was this bit here. That was option A. Number five was option D. So it was the bristles of a toothbrush. Great job again if you got that. C was a paperclip. This bit here, just that area zoomed in. And seven was the top of a tomato. I thought that one was really hard because that's so ab obscure. 
That was option A. Number eight was a pen, a ballpoint pen. You can see the tip of it really zoomed in. That was option A as well. And number nine was an Oreo, nice creamy middle bit. And that was option C. Number 10, the last one was a scourer, the thing that you use to clean the dishes. Really good job if you got that because that's a really difficult looking one. Well done, you have completed another quiz. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you again sometime. Have a great summer.